Getting outside and connecting with nature can feel impossible when it's raining, but with the Ridgefield Wildlife Refuge, you can keep everyone warm and cozy in the car while spotting all kinds of wildlife. Thank you for watching. I make a new video every week on life and real estate here in Southwest Washington. I was raised in Camas. I have spent most of my life in Clark County and I love helping others learn about this area. If you like my videos, please take a moment to subscribe and turn the bell on for notifications. In this video, I'm gonna share one of my favorite activities in Ridgefield. It's located 15 minutes north of Vancouver, Washington. Ridgefield is a growing town full of great parks, shopping, restaurants, and access to the Columbia River. Be sure to check out my video all about Ridgefield, Washington, which is linked above right here. I'll also put it down in the description. So whether you are thinking of moving to Southwest Washington or you already live here, if you're just looking for a way to spend a day, keep watching. The transition from sun and warm weather to rain and clouds comes really fast. If you are new to the Pacific Northwest, and especially if you have, a, have small kids, it can be hard to fill the days when it's raining. The Ridgefield National Wildlife Refuge is a 5,300 acre haven of marshes, grasslands, and woodlands. It was created as a place for migrating birds to rest and a year-round habitat for other animals. It is managed by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. This place is a bird watcher's paradise. They have 239 species of birds that have been documented, documented in the refuge's River S unit. The total number of species at the River's S unit ranks 15th in the state for species diversity. The trails and driving routes at the refuge have made it a premier birding destination in the state. Here are some of the birds and animals that you can see at the refuge. During the fall, you can see the sandhill cranes, shorebirds, tundra swans, and a variety of songbirds. Year-round residents include mallards, Canada geese, great blue herons, pheasant, ruffled grouse, barn owl, great horned owls, bald eagles, ospreys, and red-tailed hawks. The largest animals on the refuge are black-tailed deer and cougars, and smaller mammal species on the refuge are coyote, red fox, raccoon, skunk, porcupine, bobcat, beaver, mink, river otter, muskrat, badger, and brush rabbits. The wildlife refuge has walking trails and a driving path option, both accessible for a $3 fee from sunrise to sunset, cash or check only. The auto tour is located at the River South unit on Hillhurst Drive, and walking trails are located at the Cardi unit on Northwest Main Avenue. While this is great for all ages, no pets are allowed in the refuge. During the fall and winter months, the driving path is a great way to see local wildlife and migrating species. Birds, deer, otters, so many animals thrive in the sanctuary of native ha habitat. Uh, point out the great blue herons walking along in the water just a few yards from your car, or get out and walk to one of the duck blinds along the auto loop and look for swans floating along. However you choose to experience, this 5,300 5, acre refuge, you are sure to enjoy the beauty of the Pacific Northwest. There are a few picnic benches along the way and plenty of space to pull over and watch the animals. Stretch your legs and walk out to the Observation Blind or Kiwa Trail for a closer look at different animals. Part of the refuge is gated off and used for duck hunting, so you might hear some shotguns in the distance from October to February. The drive can take anywhere from one hour to three, all depending on how much you stop along the trail. If you wanna learn more about the Ridge, Ridgefield Wildlife Refuge or you've been um, and you have fallen in love with it and you just wanna ha know how to get more involved, you can check out the Friends of the Ridgefield National Wildlife Refuge website. I put a link to that down in the description. On their site, they post events coming up, including board meetings, photography workshops, naturalist led walks and more. You can also connect with them on Facebook. And yes, I also put that link in the description down below. Check it out and comment down below what animals you and your family see along the way. Thank you for watching. See you next week.